This is an introduction on how to use templates in Python and Flask. Flask uses a template system called Jinja, and I'll be demonstrating you how to use that here today. So first, I'm going to explain why you will want to use a template system in the first place. Here I have set up just a simple route on the index, and it doesn't return anything yet. It doesn't do anything. So with any page on a website, you want to return HTML. That's a typical use case for a website. So one way to do that is by simply writing HTML here. So I'll give you an example. I'm going to return just a string of HTML. So let's do this. And everything's right thing looks right okay so here I'm just writing some HTML directly in the Python code and all it's doing is creating um, header tags that say hello so let me start the server and then refresh it so it just says hello here well that works fine but what if the HTML were more complicated than this what if it were hundreds of lines long then writing it directly in your python code will be unmaintainable and to get around this we use templates so templates are basically just html files with some extra syntax in them to handle uh, data dynamically so here is a base html file with nothing in it and i'm going to turn this into a template so first on the Python side, I just need to return this template. So um, the function that does this in Flask is render template, and I just need to specify the name of the template, and it's layout.html. And one note on this is the template needs to be in a folder called templates in the same directory that your uh, Python file is in for this to work. That's where it looks for these files. Um, so layout.html is in a folder called templates. So there I have layout.html. I'll add a header tag just so you can see the difference. All right, so let me make sure the server has no errors. It doesn't. So let me refresh the page. And now this is calling the template. And there's nothing dynamic in it yet but you can see it just shows template file here because of the header tags. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to do variable substitution in a template. In Jinja templates, we do this by using double curly brackets to specify what we want our uh, variable to be. So an example would be hello, and then let's just say name. So these double curly brackets are just saying that this is not to be included in the HTML directly. Instead, it's a variable that will be passed into the template, and it's up to the template engine to replace this variable with the data that's passed in. So to pass in the data, I just need to specify key value pairs. So name equals, I need some name. So let's say Anthony. So by putting name equals Anthony there, the template engine should replace name here with Anthony. So let's see that. And there we go. So that's pretty simple variable sus substitution. If you want more than one variable, let's try this. So here's a second variable. And to pass a variable, again, you just do language, and I'll say Python. So let's refresh. Hello, Anthony. The language you are using is Python. So Anthony and Python are variables, and everything else is in the HTML file. So that's pretty straightforward. In, addi in addition to simple variable names, you can also pass in objects. So instead of using name equals Anthony, I'll create a names object 
and I'll have name be, let's say Rebecca. And I'll pass in names equals names. And here I'm going to do names.names. So this will get the name value out of the names dictionary, which will be Rebecca. So refreshing, I get this, hello Rebecca, instead of hello Anthony. So that's pretty simple. Another thing you can do with templates is use conditionals. So if you wanted an if else block in here, you could do that. So we'll demonstrate. First, let me modify the template. So the syntax for this is a curly bracket and then a percent. And then you have your if clause. So let's say if, if lang, so I'm going to pass a variable, a Boolean variable, lang, specifying if I should show language or framework. If it's true, I'll show the language. If it's false, I'll show the framework. So I'll demonstrate it here. So if lang, then I want to show this. Um, the language you're using is language. And else, I want to show the framework you are using is framework. And then I need to end it with an in if, which is just the whoops curly bracket percent, and then just the analogous on the other side. And then I need to specify the two new two new variables, framework and lang. So lang will be true, and framework will be flask. And I'll restart the server. OK, so it looks exactly the same because lang is true. So it's showing this section of the if block. If lang ends up equaling false, then it should show this. So it's the language you're using is Python right now. And if I change this one value to false, the else block of the if statement should be executed. Now the framework you're using is Flask. So you can see how straightforward using uh, if statements is in the template. Am I using this template? Most of it is HTML. And we only use the um, template markup when necessary, when we want to do something that's dynamic. So in the next video, I'll show you how to do loops with templates and how to do template inheritance. So thanks for watching.